Hey everybody, this is Theo Hartzell. Today I wanna to give you a key that I believe is going to unlock answers to your prayers like you have never seen before. I believe if you will follow this one principle that the Lord has shown me, that you will begin to come into alignment with the kingdom of God like you've never come into alignment with the kingdom of God. And therefore, you are going to see a dynamic and dramatic increase to the answers that you've been looking for. All right, and welcome back everybody, and thank you for joining me for today's session. Today, I wanna to give you a dynamic principle and a dynamic key to get your prayers answered and answered immediately. This very one thing is going to bring a dramatic shift in your prayer life, a shift in your thinking, a shift in your principles, a shift in your character. It's gonna change your life. That's how much I believe in this. Now, here's the deal. Let me set the stage first, okay? Most of you people who know me know that I like to lay a foundation first and work towards the conclusion. So let me say this. Normally when we go into prayer, we go into prayer with a prayer list or an outline or things that we have on our heart and that's why we go to prayer. Most of the time, people, unfortunately, we don't go into prayer all the time just simply to be in fellowship and communication with God. Lots of times, we go into prayer with a petition or a request. Someone's called us, texted us, messaged us. Somebody has sent word through somebody else saying that someone's sick or heartbroken or they're grieved or they're in loss or they're having financial problems. And so out of the burden and the compassion of our heart, which is absolutely normal, we go into prayer and we start praying and interceding on their behalf. And that's great because we have compassion and we need to demonstrate and be a Christian, a brother and sister to help people when they're weak or when they're falling or when they're broken. But here's the deal. When you get into a habit of going into prayer all the time with specific requests and things that are on your heart and things that are on your mind, when you go into your prayer closet, you're setting yourself up for failure because you are relying solely on your compassion and solely what's on your heart and what's on your desire based off what somebody's told you or what you're wrestling with at the moment. So here's what the Lord has revealed to me in Mark chapter 11 verses 23 through 24. And most of you can probably quote this, but let's just look at the passage. In Mark chapter 11 verse 23 and 24, it says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Verse 24, this is the key. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when you pray. Okay, one of the first things that I want to point out is that the manuscripts did not have all the commas and periods and all the punctuation that we have now. That was added in the Middle Ages in the 1500s, about 500 years ago or so. So you cannot pay attention to where a verse is broken or where a verse starts. You can't pay attention to commas and semicolons and colons and all that stuff because that was added by someone who edited the manuscript from the Greek or the Hebrew into the King James Version Bible. Bible. You will be blessed if you will quit paying attention to where commas are and all of that stuff. It's going to help you immensely. But I want you to notice verse 24. It says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray. That, my friends, is the key. You have to pay attention to the desires that come to you when you go in prayer. What desires are coming to you while you're praying? Not the desires you went to your prayer closet with, not the desires that somebody handed you on a list or a text message or a phone call and said, hey, will you go pray for me about these things? Yes, you have to pray for those things and you need to pray for those things out of compassion and love because you're sincerely moved, grieved and, and care about someone. But I'm telling you, I have gone to prayer many, many times where I went into prayer for a specific person, whether it was for my daughter, for my wife, for me, my mom, my dad, whoever. And when I went into prayer to pray about that very thing that needed to be answered, God made me pray or this desire, however you want to say it, this desire came out of me to pray about something totally and absolutely different that might have seemed totally apart and totally separate from the situation that I felt like I needed to pray for. But here's the amazing thing that I've learned to notice over the years, and that is 
the more that I allowed myself to pray for whatever came to my heart while I was praying, in spite of what my head was telling me to pray for, the more I allowed the desires of my heart to be the things that I prayed for, the more answers I began to see to the prayers that I was praying. And not only that, but I got answers to the things that I wasn't even praying for. Now you might say, Theo, wait, 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 wait a second. How is that even possible? I don't know how exactly exactly to tell you that's possible, but one thing that I do know and believe is the answer, is that when you put your petition to the side and you come into alignment with what God wants to pray for you right now at that moment, you come into alignment with God and you begin to pray His kingdom into being. And as you pray in the things that He wants you to pray for, then He gives you the things that you weren't praying for or asking for at that moment. The Bible says that God already knows what what you have need of before you even ask. So why do you feel like you have to ask for all these things all the time? Why don't we just start going into prayer and allowing the desires of our heart to come alive and you will find yourself praying the will of God, the desire of God, and the intent of God at that very moment. A perfect example and you can probably quote this verse also is simply found in Romans chapter 8 verse 26 where it says likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought and it goes on to say but the spirit itself or himself maketh intercession forth with groanings which cannot be uttered but go back and notice what he said the Spirit help with our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. Do you know what the Spirit was saying in that verse? The Spirit was saying, look, if you will go into prayer with no preconceived ideas, no preconceived list, no, no report, no text, no phone call, just go into prayer, begin to worship, pray, repent, and cleanse yourself, and, and just allow yourself to come into fellowship and communion with Jesus in a relationship with Him in a secret place, then the desires that begin to flow out of you and come out of you will be the prayers that you need to pray. We are always talking about, say to the mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. We say to the fig tree, be thou plucked up, be thou thrown in the sea. And we're doing all this casting and cursing and doing all this other stuff. And the truth is, what he was really trying to say is pay attention to the desires that come to your heart while you're in prayer. For example, if you go into prayer, all of a sudden you might begin to have all these desires that you want to prophesy or you want to operate and move and flow in the gifts of the Spirit or you want to have a radio station or do a podcast or write a book or write a story. You know, do something wonderful for God. And then all of a sudden in your mind, you'll start to dismiss yourself and disqualify yourself and say, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. And what you're doing is you're allowing yourself to disqualify the desires that just came into your heart from God. The truth of the matter is those desires that are in your heart just came to you from the Holy Ghost. Quit dismissing them, quit dispelling them, quit throwing them to the side, quit just thinking, well, that must be the devil who just put that in my mind. What I'm trying to say is this is the secret and this is the key. If you will begin to pay attention to the desires that come to your heart while you're praying and then get behind those desires and pray those desires into the earth realm, you will come into alignment with the glory of God. You'll come into alignment with the kingdom of God and you are going to see unprecedented answers to everything that you wanted, even the prayers that you didn't realize you were going to end up praying. If you want to get your body healed, pray for somebody else's body. If you want your finances to be touched, then pray for somebody else's finances. If you want a miracle in your family, pray for somebody else's family. If you want answers in your life, then I am begging you to go into your prayer closet and say, Lord, I am not coming to you with any preconceived ideas. I'm not coming coming to you with a list of prayer requests. I am simply coming into this relationship with you right now. I'm going to love on you. I'm going to worship you. I'm going to meditate on you. I'm going to get rid of the world's junk out of me right now. I'm going to cleanse. I'm going to forgive. I'm going to forgive myself. I'm going to heal. And then after you've gone through everything that you need to do to prepare yourself to receive and you've gotten quiet and you've begun to listen, begin to pay attention to the thoughts that come to you, what the desires are in your heart. And I promise you, as you begin to open up your mouth and you begin to pray, 
there's going to be stuff that just comes out of you and you're going to be thinking, where did that come from? I wasn't even thinking about praying for that, but it just came out of you. And what that is, is the God that lives in you is praying through your mouth and praying through your voice. And he's praying the things that he wants to pray at that moment. He already knows what you have need of. You don't have to tell him what you need. He already knows. He's your dad. He loves you. He cares about you. Make up your mind. I'm going to start walking in agreement with the Spirit of God. I'm going to start walking in agreement with what the Lord wants to do. All right, so before I go, I want to pray for you. And in your motion, the Malakasio Rabahashen, Maria Soromo Cobra, Kiara Marabashe, Camra Hasso, Robobre, Shibre, Hanna Braha Sombra Hakaya, Mirio Cobra Hashanda. I command you to be loosed right now in the name of Jesus. I command the authority and the power of the Holy Ghost to come upon you, to quicken to your mind, soul, body, and spirit what you need to pray for, to be everything that God wants you to be. Now, you see what happened right there? I was going to pray some intellectual prayer, but when I started praying, the Spirit of God came out of me for you to be loosed, for you to be liberated, for your mind to be liberated. So I'm going to do that again, okay? I'm going to try. I'm demonstrating right now what I just talked to you about. I'm going to let the Spirit pray. I'm going to let the desires that come to my heart come out. I'm not going to pray according to what I'm thinking right now. I'm showing you right now how to get the mountain removed and the fig tree plucked up and get all the answers that you want. I'm showing you right now what desires are coming to my heart right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command there to be fire to purge out every iniquitous sin in our life. I command there to be healing and cleansing in our life right now. Everything that doesn't need to be in our life, I command the fire of God to purge and cleanse out everything in us that does not need to be there every iniquitous way every sin every vile corruption every bit of deception in us every lie be purged out be removed be thou cast out in the authority of the name of jesus christ of nazareth and now children i just release unto you gifts and favor and blessing and press down shaken together and running over may the lord of saboeth be your judge and your vindicator may the lord god of israel be your king and your lord and your shepherd may the lord god who knows your name and seeth in secret reward you I hear the prisoners that are saying, I want to be free. I need to be free. God, help me. Help me to be liberated and be free. I command every prisoner that is listening to me right now, I command you to be loosed. I command every dark chain that is on your mind to be broken, every chain that is binding your thought process, I command you to be broken in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm talking to you. I command you to listen to me. I command you to receive. I command your heart to open up in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you to be liberated. Prisoners be set free. I command there to be a covenant and a changing of the guard. I command your heart to be open for God to be able to pour into you everything that he wants you to receive, for you to be able to receive love, for you to be able to receive with compassion the things that God wants to do in your life, and you will be able to walk out of here knowing that God loves you as a father and you are his child, to know that he cares for you and cares for everything that you're going through, that that there's nothing that has escaped his attention, but that he loves you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I plead the blood of Jesus over your mind right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I appreciate every one of y'all for sticking with me and walking through this with me. I hope this has been a blessing to you. And if it's blessed you in any way, then I ask that you would just pray for me. And if you would like to, I'd like you to click the subscribe button down below so that you can catch more of these videos as they come out. And I just want you to know that I love and appreciate you. And I'm very thankful that you stuck through this with me. And I love you. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye.